Today on Blog Success Channel, we're talking about free SEO tools. Now, we talked about picking your niche, we talked about picking your keywords for your niche, but how do you find all these keywords? You don't want to just brainstorm them. Magic, poof, and there they are. We're, most of us are not yet that advanced, so we have to use tools. So, keyword tools help you actually find, basically they query the search engines, they, query, they, they look at databases that know how often people are searching for what, okay? So you use these keyword tools to come up with the list of keywords you should be hitting. Very important step. Now your goal, of course, is to be the first on the first page or as high up as possible in Google for these terms. But guess what, once you use a keyword tool, it'll also help you find related keywords you hadn't thought of. And those are called long tail keywords in many cases. You wanna be ranked for those as well. That's a lot of value. Yeah, like it's not just puppy training. It could be how to train a puppy or how to train a stubborn puppy or, you know, all these. Train my puppy. Train my puppy, Because everybody right? thinks all different kind of searches stuff. differently. Now, one of these tools is the Google AdWords keyword tool. Usually, you know, you sign up for a Google AdWords account, but this tool is free. You don't have to log in to use it. And it helps you generate new keyword ideas. So, and there's two options. One, you can either search by keyword or by website. So there's two different ways to do it with that tool. Absolutely. When you're searching by keyword, basically you can find keywords with a high search, with a high number of searches and high cost per click. And that's the sweet spot you want to be in because you're aiming to get free search engine traffic by getting ranked for these for keywords that people pay a lot of money for when they advertise with Google AdWords. Now, uh, you do, uh, quick note, in order to see the cost per click info, you do have to be logged into Google AdWords. You should have an account here, just make an account. Now, because the service is intended for Google AdWords customers. Why does it matter about cost per click being high? Because once you get ranked for those keywords that actually people pay a lot of money for to advertise with AdWords, if you're getting free search engine traffic, you're showing Google AdSense on there, you're gonna be getting a cut of that revenue that they're paying a lot of money for. So you want that. Absolutely, now the search by website option is really great because it lets you assess the keywords not only on your website, but on your competitors' websites. So you can see if you're targeting the same keywords or maybe there's something there's missing and you're getting it. So it, it's really good and also is your website getting ranked for the keywords that you think it should be. Absolutely, and this, you also want Google Webmaster Tools, but this is so cool that you get inside the other sites too. Mm -hmm. Totally cool. Now, let's talk about the SEO book tool. That's another tool. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, a, it's also free and fully web-based and what it does, it pulls data from the Word Tracker database and gives you daily traffic estimates for the terms. Short version is you go in there, you log in, it's free, and you put in a keyword you're curious about, and it shows you the different versions of the keyword, not related like that one, but for a specific keyword, it gives you the breakdown. MSN, Yahoo, Bing, Yahoo, uh, Google, how many searches per day, and the total searches per day. That's the important You get number. a lot of data, what you want, you put in your keyword, and you care about searches per day. And that way you know if you're using it, if you're writing an article about a keyword that nobody searches for. Yeah, I mean, our personal rule of thumb is we don't strongly target a keyword unless it gets at least a thousand searches a day. Now, yeah. if you're in a real tight niche, you may not be able to do that, but that's just what we do. Yeah. Now, okay, here's the thing. In general, both tools are great at what they do, and we love to use both of them interchangeably because they each have their advantages. Google AdWords actually recommends related keywords, okay? And SEO book doesn't do that, but Google only pulls Google data. It doesn't pull from the other search engines. And the advantage of SEO book is that it pulls this data from all the search, not all of them, but the big search engines. The ones that right? matter. So, use so, them both. Which free keyword tools do you recommend and why? Leave a comment, we want to know.